Layoffs are nothing new. And neither is the age-old unemployment task of parking your ass on the couch and watching some movies. A number of which will inevitably star Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, I don't think anybody has oversaturated the movie industry like this man, other than maybe Chris Pratt. But what better drink to go with your movie than a cocktail from Mr. Johnson's own tequila company, Terramana. This margarita, of course, being the People's Margarita, a reference to his signature wrestling move called the People's Elbow. The most electrifying move in sports entertainment today, the People's Elbow! Ah! 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 Ah, forget about it. Oh, yeah! I don't really know if I'm supposed to be the one giving or receiving in this situation. Ah! Anyway, the People's Margarita is basically a Tommy's Margarita with pineapple juice, and that sounds pretty good to me, so let's go ahead and get started. Let me grab a glass for this one. They do a light little bit of salt rim on this, I know. So I'm gonna start with the lime juice this time. Perfect. I've been having good luck with limes today. They keep giving me the exact amount of juice that I need. Dump that in there. Half an ounce. Ooh, I just broke it a little bit. Go ahead and do half an ounce of agave nectar. The nectar of the gods. So this is fresh pineapple juice. I actually just made this yesterday. And I think, I have a theory that because this is fresh pineapple juice and it's more acidic, fresh pineapple juice I'm just pouring this everywhere. I can't do two things at once. Fresh pineapple juice is gonna be a lot more acidic, so it's gonna have a lot more bite to it than like a canned pineapple juice. They say you can use both, but I think that this is probably going to be better with fresh pineapple juice because of the acidic bite. Because otherwise that is a lot of sugar. I mean, you got the sugar from the pineapple juice and you got the sugar from the agave nectar. Now I think I'm gonna use our trace agaves, Aquila, Aquila. Two ounces. So one big cube in there, and then I'm gonna crack another one. Okay, perfect. And shake it. Let's add our ice to our little glass. Why did I do this? Why did I put the lime wheel at the bottom? <laughs> so I got some small little ice cubes that I made the other day. It should be perfect for this drink. Nothing more picturesque than dumping ice out of a Ziploc. Let's drain this into our drink. Oh, it's nice and frothy from the pineapple juice too. This is gonna be nice. All right, that looks good. That looks good. I'm excited to try this. I've never had this before. Worth mentioning here, the garnish for this does usually contain pineapple fronds, but I threw mine away. So we just got our lime wheel here today which I swear is not a lemon wheel. It looks so much like a lemon wheel when I cut it and it's just yellow, like a lemon. Now, before I drink this, I already said that I think it's going to be more balanced because of my more acidic pineapple juice, but I also think this is gonna be a very beginner friendly drink. I think it's gonna be a little less, ooh, that's tequila, that's really strong, and a little bit more like, ooh, fruit juice. Oh, that's nice. So let's see, let's see. Maybe this is your entryway. That's good. It is good and it's very pineapple-y. I do like that. But it's too sweet. It's just too sweet for me. I think a lot of people would like this. I do think this is pretty beginner friendly, but it kind of just feels like I'm drinking a slightly alcoholic cup of pineapple juice. The pineapple juice really, really dominates. Maybe I would scale back the one ounce of pineapple juice just so the tequila can shine a little bit more, but that's what I want. Maybe you don't want the tequila to shine. Maybe you're using bottom of the barrel and you just want to taste juice. You want happy juice that makes you go Ooh -hoo, crazy. Yeah. This is definitely not uh, slamming me. <laughs> it's not giving me the people's elbow. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt at all. It's actually very gentle. It's like the, it's like dropping a teddy bear on your tongue. It's kind of interesting just how much the pineapple juice takes over. 
Like you barely even taste the lime at this point. I think it's just the agave nectar combined with the pineapple juice is just making this sweet pineapple bomb. Would I make it all the time? No. Would I play with the ratios? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I would mess around with that. If you like this, check out the complete margarita series on screen now or in the playlist down in the description and subscribe so you'll know when my next series is released. Bye-bye now.